happens when you have a full size funnel and you pour sunflower seeds down in it. They fall through to the bottom. Now, what happens if something causes the funnel to be jammed up somehow? I'm gonna put a smaller one inside the bigger one and pour the same sunflower seeds in it. Well now, can you see? Those seeds can't fall down inside. This is what happens when your atlas is out of alignment. What is the atlas? The atlas is the ring. It's called your first cervical vertebrae, but actually what it is, is the ring that holds your head on straight. Well, its job is to hold your head on straight. However, most people are walking around with their atlas off. It's off to one side or the other. If it's off on the right side, you're going to have a left shoulder and left hip higher, which means your right shoulder and right hip are lower. And for certain kinds of medical practitioners who don't understand anything about the atlas, which is sadly way, way, way too many, they'll tell you, you have a short leg which isn't at all true. The only way to know if somebody has a short leg is to actually measure the bones when you take an x-ray. So by getting the atlas back in alignment, your shoulders are level the way they're supposed to be. Your hips are level the way they're supposed to be. And all your nerves are going from your brain into your spinal column and going unimpaired, not interfered with out throughout your whole body and you can be healthy and vibrant. Now, the job of the atlas, the ring, it's not really a vertebrae if you look at it, it doesn't have the, um, the spinal processes sticking out, going all the way down. It's just a ring with kind of little handles on the side. Its job is to hold your head on straight. If your atlas is out of alignment, what does that do to your spine? If your atlas is out of alignment, what it does to your spine is... Everything has to go out of whack. So if you're going to a chiropractor, they'll tell you, well, this vertebrae is out, that vertebrae is out. Maybe they're twisted around and it's just all awkward and they'll be doing all kinds of adjustments because they don't understand that when the atlas is in alignment, the vertebrae align themselves correctly. It's a very simple thing. But here, now let's take a look at the things that are dependent upon the nerves going through full on the way they start up in your brain and, co and communicated through your spinal cord to your body. When your atlas is out, this is what's happening throughout your body. You will have decreased blood flow flow through the brain. You'll have a stretching force happening on your spinal cord. There'll be mechanical stress to all your discs, to all your ligaments. You'll have spinal nerve compression and distorted nerve signals going into the brain. What, how does that show up in your health, in conditions, in things that aren't working right? That someone who doesn't know anything about the atlas doesn't know that's the cause driving it. 
These are the things that happen when your atlas is out. Not all of them, but some of them, depending upon the angle and the degree that your atlas is not in alignment. Headaches, migraines, fibromyalgia, ADHD, being able to focus, ear pain, neck pain, back pain, high blood pressure, leg pain, numbness, TMJ, your jaw joint being out, facial pain, disc herniations, spinal stenosis, spinal degeneration, all of these things show up as conditions resulting from the atlas being out and the blood flow not flowing accurately through the brain and the messages not going accurately from your brain down your spinal cord and out through your body. Look on uh, another angle, a reference of what is happening when your atlas is not properly aligned. There's inflammation and the inflammation creates pressure. The pressure leads to chronic neurodegeneration. That's your neurons degenerating. There you will have brain and arterial circulation being impinged. Metabolic waste accumulates and lingers in the brain. Normally when you go to sleep at night, the first few hours, your brain shrinks and all that waste gets cleared out. But if your atlas is not where it belongs, it can't get out. And the inflammation, the waste stays there. It continues to build neuronal inflammation. The cerebral spinal fluid backs up. It creates turbulence in the brain. The internal jugular vein gets compressed. Now, how does this show up in your life, in diagnoses that a doctor will find, especially a doctor, who doesn't recognize the cause. You see, when your atlas is displaced, it narrows the openings in the skull. And you can have a post-concussive syndrome. So if you've had any kind of brain injury, whiplash, migraines, again, things aren't going right. There's inflammation, uh, migraines. And as I said, MS, Parkinson's, chronic fatigue, that's a long list of things that aren't working right because your atlas is out. I'm gonna tell you how you get your atlas back in place. This is not something you do for yourself, by yourself. Let me restate that. You do it for yourself, but doing it by yourself. I know when I've worked on myself, I managed to misalign my atlas because it takes skill. That's why people specialize in it, to know how it's off, the angle it's off, and it has to be done, measured, all these different dynamics by someone called an orthospinologist. An orthospinologist focuses only on C1, that your atlas, and C2, called the axis. So your atlas and your axis, and that's the only thing that they're focusing on. And when you get your atlas corrected, which takes a couple seconds, Everything works. Like for, I had my atlas realigned after the traumas that I had in the past year. I can go like this now. 
I can see absolutely behind me. I couldn't do that for the last year or two because my atlas was off. I knew it was off and I couldn't find an orthospinologist to find, to see, to go to see because they do all the tests and the measurements and it's all done very scientifically with measurements. So they know what they're doing. So they know how to make the adjustment. So they know how to check that your body is suddenly aligned because this is what happens. It's suddenly aligned. You're not going to a chiropractor every week and getting an adjustment. You're getting one simple adjustment by an orthospinologist. So the first time that I had an atlas adjustment, a friend had told me about this wonderful, wonderful doctor. And yes, he is brilliant. He had the most extraordinary things that he was measuring. He was measuring, are my shoulders at the same level? Are my hips at the same level? When I'm standing on his special machine, Am I exerting the same amount of force on each foot? How about the electricity running through my body? You know what? This was after the brain surgery. It was quite a few years after, because I didn't know anything about this. Thank goodness my friend told me to go see him. There was nothing happening on the right side of my body. And you could see very clearly in the really cool program, yeah, it was a software program that showed exactly what was turned on and what wasn't. When he put my atlas in place instantly, instantly like that, I felt heat going through the whole right side of my body that hadn't been happening for years. And as, when I just went, uh, a couple of days ago to have it adjusted again because of things that happened in my life that definitely knocked it down. Same thing was happening. The heat wasn't running on the right side of my body because it was out on the right side. So going to see an orthospinologist can dramatically, dramatically change your life in an instant. They're hard to find. I looked for one when I moved back to the East Coast. They weren't showing up in searches that I did online. And thank goodness I kept doing it because one day there was this person. And when I went back a few days later, the person didn't show up again. And he told me that other patients had said the same thing. Sometimes he shows up, sometimes he doesn't. And the fact is there was only one showing up in the whole area. So orthospinologist is who you're looking for. If you can't find an orthospinologist, your second place to go is to an atlas orthogonal doctor. They don't do the same focus on C1 and some C2. They don't do those measurements. They don't specialize. They can put your atlas back in place, but not to the same fine degree that an orthospinologist does. And it sure is better than not having your atlas adjusted at all. But look for an orthospinologist and that term will be in the show notes. Today, I wanted to talk some more about taking a quick sponsor break. Do you know, when I had that brain surgery, I had so many major nerves that were inside the tumor that it left me with a whole lot of paralysis in my body. I couldn't speak part of my face all the way up from my sinus down my tongue was paralyzed. I didn't have a feeling, couldn't blow my nose, couldn't speak clearly, still have trouble swallowing. But when I got on the patch, 
the first time, it was a few days. I knew something was happening. Uh, I thought my speech was a little clearer, but after two weeks, I had my feeling back. My tongue was working. I could swallow better. I could feel this whole side of my face. I could move my tongue. I could get my tongue out of the way when the dental hygienist was cleaning my teeth. I hadn't been able to do that for 10 years. My body was making its own fresh stem cells. I wasn't putting anything in or on me of any kind of medicine or potion. It was simply the patches. If you go to endstruggle.com, and on that page, you click contact me, I will contact you, because struggle is definitely option. So I've been talking about the atlas and how it makes a difference in your life. The way your spine works is dependent upon the way your brain is able to communicate with your spine through the spinal cord. You don't have impingement, everything's gonna go through accurately. I thank you so much for joining us here today. I am Reverend Allie Bierman, and this is Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. I invite you to join our Facebook group where you can ask questions, make a new friend, get the extras that I put in every week. And also go on over to our show site. On our show site, you can find the recording that's audio and the recording that's video. So you have your choice of how to listen to any of our well over 100 episodes. And you can play them over again. The advantage of playing them, listening to them later, is when you see something, you hear something, you can rewind and play it again, and play it again, and play it again, which I listen to lots of podcasts. I watch lots of videos. I do that a lot, which is why it's important to me to bring the show to you. And I appreciate your supporting us by joining our community. And when you join our community, it gives you the opportunity to come on a live video call with me every single month. Plus the satisfaction of knowing that we can continue to get our word out there. We run our world and operate and live from forces we don't really comprehend, that energies that we don't see, it's the invisible forces driving everything in our lives. And I also invite you to take advantage of audible.com, our link gets you a free 30-day trial. Go in and look around, because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Plus, you get to download the audiobook of your choice. And um, don't have a specific one to recommend this week, because I have such an enormous library. And deciding which one fits with this topic, I'll have to go through and let you know later. Remember to enjoy every moment. That's capital I N, capital J O Y, every moment. Because nothing in your life ever happens outside of you. Nothing. Nothing that you see, that you hear, that you taste, that you smell, that you touch is experienced outside of you. 
when the tree falls and the woods, there's no one there to hear it. It doesn't make a sound. How can it? Because the sound only happens within when your body puts it through the different organs or your brain or your body to convert it into what you're experiencing. I look forward to seeing you here next time.